How's it going? Charles Botenston here. I have something today that's very important and it's something that we're all going to go through. It could be multiple times a year. It could be multiple times a month. It could be multiple times a week, whatever the case is. It's something that I feel really strongly for. I just went through it. It's a funk. It's depression. It's anxiety. It's a, I don't know where I'm going in the future. I don't know what my goals are. By the way, you need goals. People that don't have goals, it's insane. Like you're going through life without a direction. It's a ship without a rudder. It's a ship without sails. You're like, you're just, you're just in the sea, just going, just moving through the ocean. You need to have something that actually tells you this is where I want to go. Five pounds by the end of the month that's what I want to lose or I want to make 200,000 by the end of the year I want to have one income stream coming in passively into my life instead of the active income stream so a funk how do you get out of it how do you discover that you're in it uh, it's it's kind of easy but you actually have to know that you're in it you have to know that you're in a funk you're you're like a lot of people They'll just, they'll just think this is how it should be or this is how it is or this is what life is. Life is a dance. Life is opportunity. Life is adventure. If you're not having that, then you're in a funk. And I just went through one. So I posted something in December of la a couple of months ago. And uh, it got a huge standing ovation on social media. It was about determination and just... Being just bullying through all the tough times and everything like that. And I'm just determined for this year to be amazing. And then a month later, oh, and then four or five messages came in. And they were like, how do you how do you have this energy, this vitality, this excitement, this aliveness? How do you how do you just continuously have this? How do you just not? So for me, I was like, how do you not have this? How do you not? just continuously have that excitement to wake up and go to work or or, or do your craft or whatever. Like it, it was just mind blowing to me. And then three weeks later, I ran into that wall. I ran directly into that, wow, what is my future? What is, you know, what's going on? And the reason it came up, it, and it could come up in everything. You go through a tough breakup, something happens, someone dies, you get laid off, you have a health scare, or you actually have something really bad that happens to you and then you start questioning everything and that's really where it comes in. So it was, for me, it was with my job. So I, was, I did an amazing, like crazy amount of business and then because I was celebrating, I always talk about this, go with momentum. Keep the success train going. Never stop the success train. So with me is I was having an amazing time and an amazing ride and then it stopped and then there's no business and then I was not busy at all and it was really weird and then you start questioning everything and then I started eating like crap and not going to the gym and everyone felt it. Everyone felt the vibe. Everyone felt the energy just go down and I started like really hardcore questioning a lot of things. And you can get to a dark, 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 dark place if you don't actually recognize this, if you don't understand why you're there. So the first thing you have to go through is you have to recognize it. You have to recognize that you are in a funk, that you're in a very anxious time. There's times I would wake up in like a huge cold sweat or I, I wouldn't be able to sleep or I'd have only three hours of sleep and I would wake up not excited to go to work, not excited to, and people see, and this is the biggest thing is that people don't talk about this. People don't talk about this at all. People just say their life looks amazing. Their social media just looks amazing. And that's what their life is like. And that's what it was like for a while. And then I hit a funk and you could see it on my posts. They weren't creative. Um, I didn't really care. And the first thing is, like I said, is you have to recognize it. Most people just accept it. And they're like, this is how it should be. This is how my job should be. This is how my relation should be. This is how my body should be like, my income. No, it shouldn't be. You need to recognize, wow, I'm putting on pounds or um, my, we have, I haven't been intimate with my spouse in months or a year or my kid is smoking or something. What, whatever, whatever your issue is in life, you have to just, you have to be honest with yourself. You cannot 
be like, oh, it's going to get better. You have to actively pursue why. So that's the second thing is why? How did this happen? So I went back. I said, okay, recognize it. It's with my job. It's with my income. Okay, great. And then you go, why? Why did this happen? And the reason being is that I slacked off. As the, as the money was coming in, I stopped calling on for business. I stopped marketing my business. I started going in a different direction, thinking that the business would continue. But that's not true. The reason that business continues is because you, you keep on doing the same things that got you the business. If you stop doing that, which I did, it's gonna, the money's gonna stop coming in, the business is gonna stop coming in, and then you're in a funk. And the hardest thing to do is, once the ball stops, is to start pushing again. But while the ball is rolling, you just keep on going. You just, you just keep on picking in more clients and, and business and you're excited and you're enthusiastic and you're confident and you're everything that you need to be that you want to be. So number one is say, it's like AA. It's, it's like accept, okay, I am not where I want to be. I'm, the, the train is derailed. Number two is how did I get here? How did my kid start drinking or doing drugs? How did my spouse and I stop being intimate? Why are we just roommates? How did my income drop 100,000 or in half or whatever that amount is to you? You have to recognize why. And number three is you have to make a plan of what worked. It's the biggest thing is be like, okay, while I was thin and athletic. What was I doing? Okay. I wasn't drinking that much. I wasn't going out that much. I was waking up. I was eating better. And then you slowly and not all at once, you slowly start putting one of those things into your life every single week. Okay. I'm going to start at the gym next week. I'm going to start eating right while going to the gym. I'm going to start eating right, going to the gym, and not drinking as much. I'm not going to go out as much. And you're going to slowly build up what you have a spouse. You haven't been intimate with them. What what did I do? Oh, yeah. I uh, did things without being asked. I said I love you. I kissed them on the cheek unexpectedly. I wrote them notes. I bought them just a small little uh, flower out of nowhere or whatever. I don't know. Whatever worked for you. You have to go back and do that. <laughs> That's what worked. That's what you have to do. And the last is you have to take action. Action is the answer to everything. Inaction is also the problem for everything. You can be the smartest person in the world. If you are not taking action, you are not getting anything done. You're not going to have the body you want. You're not going to have the relationship, the job, the money, the intelligence. You're not going to have anything. You have to read a book to get smarter. You have to then apply what you read in that book to make money or start the business or be, get better at marketing or social media or whatever you want to do. So I went through this and it's now three months later, three months, it's three months later and it sucked to get the ball rolling. And to be honest, I don't ever want to be in that place again, ever. It sucked. For 90 days, every single day, it was a painful time to wake up and say, yes, I got it. Let's go. Come on. Almost there. And then you're going to have that one small success, that one appointment, that one piece of business that comes in, then another piece of business. And that's where it, what it happened. Literally in one week, I just out of nowhere had $2 million in contract. And that has nothing to do with outside of me actually recognizing I'm in a funk understanding what, why or how I got there, then discover what worked when I wasn't in there, make the plan and take action. I hope this helps. This is super important because we're all going to be there. And, number, and, and the last thing I'm just going to throw out there is regardless of how amazing someone's life is, they have deep, deep insecurities about something. It could be about anything. A beautiful woman, you know, to be honest, the biggest insecurities they might have is their body or their hair or their looks or a very handsome guy, a model guy. You'll hear it all the time. The model guys is like, that's what their identity is tied to. So you have to recognize it. You have to, you have to accept it and you have to know that this happens to everyone. There's a very honest review of what happened to me 
and it's normal, it's natural. And that's what happens, is that life is not just a straight up, I went up last year, then I just hit that deep chasm. But the problem is, or not the problem, but the, the thing is to know when you're in that chasm, to know when you're going down, to catch yourself, and then to start going back up, which I'm doing right now. So I hope this helps. Leave a comment of anything that you've done or anything that I could do. I just recognized uh, what I did to get, I'm getting out of it. I'm not out of it. I don't think you're ever out of, uh, unless you're dead. <laughs> you're out of going after what you want, but that's how I got out of my rut and to continue it. So follow me on social media, subscribe to the videos. I hope this helps. Uh, go to icharles.com and I have a post every single day about something that's really important to me and you can subscribe and get it in your inbox uh, by 9 a.m., probably even earlier because I'm up at 6 or actually, yeah, I'm I'm up earlier, but it's I'm done writing by six. I'm, I start writing it at 5:45. I'm up at 5:15, and then uh, it's done. Wake up, blah blah blah. It's all regimented. So hope this helps. Have an awesome day. Subscribe to the video, and I'll try and keep them shorter. Shorter. Have an awesome day.